Hello. Uh, do not ship before the 1st of June 2023. Um, right, I've actually had it a few days. Haven't had a chance to really open it because I've been playing the game, <laughs> funnily enough. Uh, this is the Diablo 4 Collector's Edition, which we'll unbox in a minute. But before we do that, I want to show you this, which is a Diablo 3 one, just for comparison purposes. Um, it's a, bit, a little bit dusty, but we'll get rid of that. Uh, let's open it up. And the first thing you notice when you open it up is, uh, well, you, you actually get the game with it. Because <laughs> you don't get the game with the Diablo 4 one, weirdly. There's a couple of guest passes there for um, World of Warcraft. Uh, there's the collector's edition behind the scenes, which is still wrapped up. Uh, that's the actual uh, game keys and things like that, which obviously I'm not going to show you. Uh, and then you get a very nice, well, you get that basically. So you get a very nice book, which this one is still shrink wrapped, The Art of Diablo, because the art is that's absolutely beautiful, really. I can't, can't see anything else. Uh, there's also a, a, a CD, soundtrack CD, and you get this, which is um, a bit cool. I'll open it up and show you it here. Essentially, it's a USB stick in the shape of a little horn and <laughs> a skull to stick it in. Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. So I haven't used any of this. It's just, I've just left it in its sort of collector's box. So I'm going to put all it back now. So, yeah, the new one doesn't come with the game, which is very peculiar. So you have to buy the game separately. So I think, as I remember, this one was... Probably about the same price, about £100 or something. I can't actually remember. So I'm going to put all that back in. So that's for comparison purposes. So what you can see is that that's actually quite quite good, isn't it? Um, that's it boxed up again. So let's compare that to the new one. Again, you don't get the game with it. Uh, packing slip, you get that with it. <laughs> And inside the box is another box, which is um, it's beautifully packaged. It comes in a massive, great box. So I'm just going to lift this out. Oh, that's a bit heavy. Uh, oh, God. It's actually quite heavy. So um, let's get this main big box out of the way. So inside the big box is a smaller box. Just chuck that on the floor down there. Right, so let's have a look at that. So obviously this is the main event. Um, so we'll just open it up. Cut the tape on it. It is extremely well boxed up. Obviously be very careful when you're doing that so you don't dig too deeply. And what we've got in there is is it in a bag. Uh, right, so easiest thing to do with this situation is not to take it out of the box, but to take the box off it. So that's the box taken off. Now we can see it's in a, quite a big bag, which I'm just going to flip over. We'll just take that bag off if we can. Now, there is a paper thing on the bottom of it. I was wondering if that is stuck on or not. I'll just flip it over and just check. Yeah, there is a, there is a paper thing on the bottom, so I'll need to be careful of that. So basically, it sort of says what's in it. We're going to find that out anyway. So let's flip it over, spin it round, and... Um, ooh, it's quite nice. It's a little embossed doorway so let's open it up <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> is that like that's actually magnetic there's a magnet in there you hear that click, click down there's a magnet in there that's a nice detail um right first thing we notice is a rather nice art print uh, which is sealed so we'll move that 
to the back. And there's two more art prints, all framed. Again, all sealed. Put that at the back, out of the way. Can I stand it up? I can probably stand them up, can't I? Let's just stand them up at the back like that. I expect they'll slip down, but let's stand them up. Right. So there's little tabs here, so I'm going to have to pull that. If I pull that, that comes out. The Art of Diablo 4, Collector's Edition. Wow. I mean, the art's just beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. I mean, imagine being that talented. I can't. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, so that's the art book, which I'm going to put there. And if I lift this door up, oh, it sort of clips over. Oh, they put in little, <laughs> there's little petals, little plastic petals. See that? Right, good. <laughs> so there's little petals, so we'll put those. Now I'll try and get it so it's in sort of the right place. I'm going to put that there. And I'll just put those petals on top of it like that. So we've got the petals around the back there. Now, this has got a little handle on it, which I'm lifting out. So, um, I'm not quite sure what to do with that. So what we'll do is we'll maybe put that one back in and see what's in this side first. That's a little handle on there, which I'm lifting up. So that's just a packing box. So I'm gonna put that down there. And um, what is this? I do not know what that is. What is that? It's got a little, it's like a pin. It's a, oh, it's a badge, like a brooch badge thing. So there's another cardboard bit that comes out of there like that. Does this bit lift out? Not really, I don't know. Quite confused now, actually, to be honest. Does that bit come out? Oh, it does. That box bit there comes out. So there's another. Oh, right, okay. Good. And inside here. Oh, what's this? <laughs> oh my god. What is this? It, uh, it's like a tapestry. Oh, it's a map. Oh my god. It's like a fabric map. Uh, which I'm holding upside down. <laughs> <laughs> right, there it is. <coughs> that's better. Um, okay, that's the map of the land. I wouldn't want to use it to navigate, but it kind of works. Alright, so we'll just fold that back up. How did that go? Did that go in like that? Yes, it did. And that went like that. And then that went like that. And that goes there. And it, it, oh, here's a mouse pad. There is a mouse map. There are both four mouse maps. Not the biggest mouse mat I've seen, but a mouse mat nonetheless. So that goes back in there. 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 That tab goes down. That goes back on there. That tab goes down. I'm just going to watch these petals. And that goes back in there. And that we can flip over. And now we'll lift this out. And we'll just shove it back. Watching out for me precious petals. It's a bit, yeah, okay. This has got a elasticated thing around it. So I'm just gonna slide this off. Slidey, slidey, slidey. Uh, maybe the reason it doesn't come with the game is there's no room to put the game in. So let's um, just open this bit up. Oh, this bit's got a seal on it. Oh, break the seal. Break the seal. The seal is broken. <laughs> Nothing happened. Uh, right. What's this? Piece of paper. Oh, it's uh, batteries and power. So is it just multilingual? Oh yes, in like a million different languages. It's a candlestick and you get batteries. And desiccant. Right, so uh, let's lift this out. It's a candlestick. <laughs> That's 
That's ridiculous. What is that? It, oh. Right. Shall we put some batteries in it and see what it does? Yeah. I'll just go and get some batteries. And the little screwdriver. I think it had a screw on it. Yeah, it does look a little screw cover the thing. So I'll just undo that. It's double A. I just happen to have some double A's here. Uh, some rechargeable ones. I like rechargeable ones that move in worryingly. So let's slap that in there. And then we'll slap that in there. How do we turn it on? Ooh, what's that do? I guess I've got the big big light on, I can't see it. It's sort of faintly flickering. <laughs> well, that was that's impressive, isn't it? You can see it comes on. It's just that obviously because you see I can't really see it's lit up, can you? But it's flickering like a candle. Uh, was that worth it? No. <laughs> I'm going to take the batteries out. Anyway, kind of fun. So it comes with a massive candle and a whole load of art. Um, the massive candle is kind of fun, to be honest, but I'm just going to put it back in the box now. Uh, if you got any questions about it, then um, give me a shout. As I say, I haven't had a chance to open it for a while because I've been actually been playing the game. And the game is like the art. Absolutely astonishing. Um, such a beautiful game. But... Whether they should, I mean, they should have just included the game with it, shouldn't they? That just makes more sense to me. Uh, I mean, I bought this anyway, but it would be would have been better to have had the game with it. So I'm a little bit. Anyway, I, I can't criticise. <laughs> Who am I to criticise Blizzard anyway? I mean, let's be honest. Um, it's an astonishing game. I mean, it's an astonishing um, pack that they've obviously released to coincide with it as a collector's edition uh, I don't think it's as good as a Diablo 3 collector's edition that just seems a more rounded thing especially as you get the game with it but anyway if you've got any questions about this stick them in the comments uh, liking and subscribing is appreciated um, and um, I hope you found it useful uh, and thanks for watching <laughs>